Hey guys, it's Wednesday! And it's raining in England in summer. True English weather. So, this week's theme is things that we are passionate about. One being music. Now, I'm not very musically talented, but I love listening to music, I love going to concerts, I love going to festivals. So, yeah, I'm very, I am very passionate about music. Um, I think I've said, but I've been to four festivals this year, um, and they were all, they were all music festivals. And it's just really, it's just a really good atmosphere at festivals and at concerts. Everyone just like getting together like doing a little dance um, and the second thing that I'm very passionate about I love travelling um, which is another reason that I like going to festivals because you have to obviously go to the festival um, and so you're meeting loads of new people you're in a different environment that you've not really been in before unless you've been to the festival before um, and it, I don't know it's just the newness that even that's not a word, but you know what I mean. Um, the just all the new things that you're exposed to when you're traveling, different cultures and and different people, and and I just like that. I like I love meeting new people. So yeah, they're my they're my two passions. Um, when we first got this theme, I was sat and. Because I've been doing exams, like, all the time recently, I've really not had much time for anything else. And about two years ago, I would have had about six different things that I would have been passionate about. Like Laura, I used to really like the theatre. Um, and I still, I still do, but because I've not had an opportunity to really embrace it recently, because I've been so busy... Um, it's just kind of, of fizzled, which is really sad. And yeah, I and I also used to be really heavily into art as well. Um, and I, I still love art. I still, when I went to Paris um, a few weeks ago, um, we went to the Louvre, and it was just, it was just so lovely seeing loads and loads of different like artists doing completely different things. My my passions have changed, and I don't like that. I don't. I don't, I don't like losing a passion, so hopefully university will let me re-spark some of those passions. Um, I don't have a recommendation this week, I don't think. And Adam, I'm, I'm glad you like Rowan Atkinson, that's good. I'm, I'm glad he's broken over the European border. Just don't open your eyes yet, just don't open your eyes. Walking along, you know, walking up this great hill, nearly dying, and we saw this guy with no top on jumping over a wall, and we're like, that's a bit odd. So we like carried on walking, we're just like, what on earth is he doing? And then we saw these three other walk, um, other hikers that were walking up, like walking back down, and they were like, did you guys just see that that man? And we were like, yeah, what what's going on? What's going on? And they were like. He just walked up to us, took his shoes and socks off, threw them over somewhere, took his shirt off and started running across this moor with no shoes on or a top. And I was just like, hmm, no, they've, they've got to be lying about that. And then I saw footprints in the mud where his feet, bare feet had been running. And I was like, what the hell? So he got up to the top of this pike and we were looking around because there was a set of stairs that he could go up to and you could stand at the top of it. Um, and... We saw this guy, and we shouted down to him, we were like, mate, why haven't you got any shoes on? And he was like, well, you know, running's just not the same with shoes on. It's not as good. I was thinking, yeah, because you don't get glass in the bottom of your feet, or, like, risks of cutting the bottoms of your feet open. Well, I'm a moron. Seriously. Oh, it was so odd. And he was with this, like, 90-year-old man that was just like, yeah, yeah. For, for, it was, oh, it was crazy. It was mind-bogglingly craziness. So... Yeah, don't run along moors in bare feet, because that must hurt. He had dirty feet, it was gross. Really gross. Colleen, I'll see you tomorrow. 
And then he was like, oh, well, I should really put my shoes on because I don't want to walk down that rocky hill with the no shoes on because that would be stupid. Like, yeah, of course that's the stupid thing. Walking down rocky hills with no shoes on. Oh, God forbid.